It was the crack of dawn on Sunday. The women arrived at the tomb, carrying the burial spices they had prepared. But they weren't prepared for this. They found the entrance stone rolled back from the tomb. So they walked in, but they couldn't find the body of the Master Jesus. Jesus? Where is he? His body's gone. Then, out of nowhere, two men dressed in blinding white stood there. Why are you looking for the living one in the cemetery? He's not here, but raised up. Remember how he told you when you were still back in Galilee that he had to be handed over to sinners, be killed on a cross, and in three days rise up? Then they remembered Jesus' words. Later that day, the disciples gathered behind locked doors, afraid for their lives. Then Jesus entered the room. Peace to you. He showed them his hands and his side. The disciples, seeing the master with their own eyes, were awestruck. But Thomas wasn't with them. It's him. Thomas! We We saw saw the the master. master. Unless I see the nail holes in his hands, put my finger in the nail holes, and stick my hand in his side, I won't believe it. Eight days later, Jesus showed up again, and Thomas was there. Peace to you. Thomas, put your finger here, and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. My master! My God! So, you believe because you've seen with your own eyes. Even better blessings are in store for those who believe without seeing. To learn more about Jesus, text the name Jesus to 866-729-1065.